And what's like a St. Patrick's Day video with a Christmas tree in your background? Gotta love it. Happy St. Patrick's Day to those who are watching this on St. Patrick's Day and the day that this video comes out. So happy St. Patrick's Day to you. Hopefully you guys are having a good day and wearing green. Yes, I know I am not wearing green. Um, unfortunately since, well, not unfortunately, but since I graduate in about two months, a lot of my stuff is packed away and sent home already. So just kind of wearing the same clothes over and over because I don't want to have to unpack every, or pack up everything at the end so no I don't have green on today I'm sorry but hopefully you guys are all wearing green and celebrating doing something fun hopefully this will be a fun video it is actually not St. Patrick's Day today for me but I wanted to get this video out for you guys on St. Patrick's Day so for me it is Wednesday the day before St. Patrick's Day but just want to put this video together have some fun with it and stay tuned because there should be something good at the end I think you guys will really enjoy but you'll probably already know because of the title or the thumbnail. But anyway, I'm headed to the gym right now. It is chest and back day, but the emphasis is going to be more with back. So to do that, I'm going to do my back, back exercises first. I'll save bench for last. Bench is going to be 4x4 four four with about 75%. I'll let you guys know that when I get to that point. But again, emphasis on back, and then we'll get into some chest work. But that is the plan. Last time I did chest, it was a five by three. And I think that was 85%. And that's when you guys saw me fail the last rep of the fifth set. I had to get spotted on that one. So let's see if we make any progress with the four by four at 75%. I think I should do pretty well, feeling pretty good. But just gonna end that there. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. And again, happy St. Patrick's Day. What's up guys, it is Gina. I'm not gonna do really a commentary for this workout. There's just a few things I want to talk about that I think are important. But first, the workout was great. Again, again it was uh, chest and back, but more emphasis on the back movements. So I really want to improve on that. And that felt really good. And then I did get into the bench press and I did a four by four at 75%, which felt awesome. I really didn't feel like I had any like sticking points where it looked like I was pausing. Movements went really well. Uh, towards the end of set like three and four though, I did feel like my arms were flaring out a little bit saying, instead of staying tucked in. So that's something I'm going to work on. But otherwise, the rest of the workout was great. I did cardio and that's one of the points that I want to talk about, cardio. So before, when I did my um, recap, I told you guys about what I like to do for cardio. You know trying to burn 20 calories on whatever machine it is or whatever time so today was the first day I did cardio at retro so I hopped on the Stairmaster and noticed that I was already at about 10 minutes and I wasn't even at 100 calories yet whereas a Stairmaster at school I by the time we get to like 10 minutes I'm you know probably at 120 calories burned and I was did the same level I usually do levels between like six and nine nothing crazy but enough to keep my heart rate going so I was still doing that today, and but I noticed that the calories was different. So you know, this machine was telling me I'd hit about 10 minutes, but I wasn't at even 100 calories yet. That's why I always say try to keep something cons consistent. So this machine was telling me that in 10 minutes I only burned, we'll say, 70 calories. So that was fine. I was getting kind of bored on the stairmaster, so I stopped at 13 minutes, and it was 13 minutes and 44 seconds. I stopped because that's when I reached 100 calories. I was getting bored on that, so then I hopped over to the tread climber, which is like the treadmill, but it's like split in half. I mentioned that before. And then I did it 100 calories on that machine, and that machine told me I got to 100 calories in, it was like 10 minutes and 14 seconds. So together, even though the times were different, I burned 100 calories on both machines. Whether that is totally right, or I could be totally off, whatever. I'm keeping something consistent. And that's really the best you can do when it comes to cardio. Just try to keep your heart rate up, get a good sweat if that's what you wanna get, and keep something consistent. Like I keep the 200 calories consistent. That's what's working for me. So that just happened and I wanted to talk to you guys about that. The other point that I wanted to get to was before this, I needed to run 
to campus, which I did. There was a form that I needed to pick up, and I got an email yesterday saying, oh, I will be in the office all day tomorrow, so you can come by, pick it up, and make sure you get it today, because otherwise I leave, and I'm going out of town the next day. So I got that email. I get to the office um, probably about 9.50, I would say, 9.50, and I see there's other athletes waiting in the same office. We're all waiting for the same thing. We all got the same email, and we're waiting, we're waiting. We need to get this form because it's really important. We go to the, um, the secretary and ask when this person is coming in. They said they'd be here. She goes, she has no idea when she's coming in. She calls her, and the lady couldn't give her a definite time that she could come in. And that just bugs me because you've told people, you've sent this mass email out that, you know, you will be in your office every uh, the whole day, come in and pick it up. Ever since I was little, ever since I can remember when I started playing soccer, going to tournaments, practices, whatever it was, my dad has always instilled in me that if you're on time, you're late, and if you're early, you're on time. And that's, you know, we would leave for tournaments, for practices, whatever, so early, just so we knew where we were going. If it was in a new place, we knew where to park so we'd be close to the fields. You know, so that way we knew where our field was, how long it took to get from the hotel to the field, whatever. Just prepare yourself. Get somewhere early on time, especially if you're telling someone you're going to be wherever for the whole day be there and if you're not tell them why tell them an alternate thing that they can do and that just bugged me because it was all of us athletes waiting there in the office to pick up this form and then I mentioned I was like well what would happen to us if we were late to practice there would be consequences if you, you know there's a swimmer there and she was like yeah we would have to do extra laps soccer players we would have to do suicide sprints you know whatever it is because we were supposed to be there at a time and we weren't and there's a consequence and that just you know what does that show for her that she's saying she's going to be there all day and she's not and she can't even give a time for when she is going to be there so I know I'm kind of ranting but it's just little things like that that say a lot about who you are or if you're head of a company that says a lot about your company and that's just I you know, don't think that's very good, but I'm just gonna end it there. It was a great workout, and again, find out what works for you. For cardio, keep something consistent, and just always just be on time, plan. You'll stay on track, and it looks better for you. You wanna have a good reputation. If you're in a certain career field, you want someone to be able to rely on you so you can get that promotion, or you know, they'll go to you rather than someone else. So that's just what I'm gonna leave you guys with. Hopefully you enjoy the workout footage and just this little commentary here. Again, happy St. Patrick's Day for you guys if you are watching this on St. Patrick's Day. Stay tuned for the rest of the video. should be pretty good, and I'll see you guys then. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the food. And I haven't made it yet, so hopefully a thumbnail and everything looks good, because that's what I'm hoping for. But we'll see. The goal is to make it green, make it good, and make it look good. So we'll see. It's going to be 25 grams of wheat flour, 25 grams of white flour. I just like to co combine those both. Probably add in some Truvia to flavor that up. And also, I think I have vanilla, but I'm not sure. Check on that. Anyway, then the goal is to make protein icing for the pancakes, but make it green. So let's see how that turns out. The birds have just begun. We will now that we have the pancakes cooking back there, 
The key is going to be this icing because that's what's going to make this whole meal. Now, the key is when you're adding it, when you, when you use the Protogen from the Bodybuilding.com, the Platinum Series, which you've seen me use many a times, very good, but it's like Quest, so you only need to add a little bit of water and it will thicken up very well. If you add too much, then it's going to ruin everything because you want it to be an icing like you can spread it. So I'm going to do 43 grams of the protein powder, which is one serving. And add a little bit of water, then the food coloring, and hopefully it comes out well. So you can see that consistency of the protein spread, the protein powder, whatever you want to call it. It's just like you would get icing from, you know, can if you're going to do it for a real cake. Now time to get this green color. Let's hope it works. Looks like we got the color we needed. Hopefully you guys can see that, how green it is. I mean, it looks, looks pretty green to me. So this is gonna be our topping for the pancakes and I'll show you guys the final product. Well, I think that was a success. I've been starving all day, and especially when I was at work, I was like, oh, I just want to eat a snack or something, but knowing I had this waiting for me was pretty good. Make a protein spread. Only certain certain proteins will get, protein powders will get thick like this, like Quest, and the Protogen will do that. There's a few others. Some, even if you add some water, it just gets like sludge, like protein sludge. This, I highly recommend, sits right there on the pancake like that. Give you guys a taste test. Mmm. Obviously they just taste like vanilla because that's the protein powder. Just wanted to do something fun here for you guys. For St. Patrick's Day, I know I could have done something on St. Patrick's Day and then you guys see the video the day after, but I wanted to have you guys watch something on the actual day. You know, always thinking about you guys, wanting you guys to have something fun and exciting to watch, something you may be able to learn from, whatever it is, just entertainment for you guys. So hopefully you did enjoy this, maybe give it a try. All I had to add was three drops of the green food coloring and that was it. So definitely try it out. Let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hope you had a great St. Patrick's Day if you're watching this on St. Patrick's Day. Thank you guys for the continued support. We also reached 300 subscribers, so thank you all for that. And I'm thinking when we get to about 500 subscribers on YouTube and I'm almost at 2,000 followers on Instagram, I'm probably gonna do a giveaway for that. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Comment, like, share as always. And thank you guys so much for watching this. Please leave it a thumbs up if you did enjoy. I'm going to enjoy this because I'm hungry and it looks pretty good. But thank you again. You guys are amazing. And as always, have a great week.